Hi guys, my name is Ishan and if you don't know me, I am a GCC student in year 11, currently revising for my mocks and in this video I'm going to be giving you my top tips on how to revise biology at a GCSE level and I'm going to run through what I do to try and maximise my grade and what is effective for me personally. Again, this might not be for you and you might not be comfortable doing what I do, but this is just what I do to revise biology. Let's get into that. So currently it is 11.06 at night. Literally it is pitch black outside. And I definitely first of all recommend getting at least dual monitors because it really does help you, really does help your position that you're working in and it makes your life a whole lot easier. So for the first 10 minutes of revising biology, I usually go to my CGP book, which I honestly, it really helps a lot to have a CGP book, and go to a page that I'm not familiar with, and currently it's probably the nervous system and responding to stimuli. I then decide to try and make a few flashcards online using a flashcards app you can find on the Mac App Store, which is honestly really helpful, and I do this for around 20 minutes, so let's go. So I usually like to um, listen to a bit of music when revising biology just because it helps me focus. So right now I'm going to try and make a few flashcards on a few pages of this and then once I've done that I will go on to my next step of revising biology. So I have now just finished my digital flashcards and I'm going to move on to watching a video about this topic so I can just understand it in some more depth. So I now try and find a video on YouTube covering the topic that I'm learning. So now I'm just finding a GCSE biology nervous system and reflex hug video by Cognito and I honestly recommend it a lot. So whilst watching the video, if I don't know anything, I just jot it down on a piece of paper then write it up in my flashcards after the video. So that's what I do if I find any new information and I just jot it down. The next thing I try and do is I try to make notes on my wall. I've got these really cool like um, white whiteboards that you can just stick on the wall and currently I'm just making some notes on reflex arcs. So after I've made some notes on the wall, I go to my other textbook, which is the International GCSE Biology book, and I try to make some notes in the actual book just to help me revise the topic that I do not understand. So now I'm just about to start to annotate my book with a pencil because I don't think I'm actually meant to write in a book with pen because I might get in trouble with the school, but let's go. through my 
my cupboard full of textbooks, which is literally huge. I'm not even joking, there are tons of textbooks, even at the back. I then usually go to the drawer of my past papers. I've honestly got so many for each subject, chemistry, biology, physics. And I usually try and do three a day, but um, I've already done my three. So instead, I'm just gonna go on physics and maths tutor and revise a topic instead. Now I try and do some physics and maths tutor questions because they honestly save me, especially because they're topic questions and they are just so good because i go through them and check my answers because they do come with model answers it is now 12 26 a.m in the morning and i'm gonna try watching a video on this topic but a bit of background information so it just helps my learning because i'm learning about neurons i'm just about to learn about motor neuron disease which is out of the curriculum but is interesting and it will kind of help my learning so to end this video i just wanted to say how important past papers are for biology because there's so many past papers out there and there's so many questions for you to do and practicing the questions for the exam is going to get you right up there and it has helped me a lot because the amount of repeat questions that actually come up in the past papers or the mocks is unbelievable. For example, there's so many questions that if you do them before the actual mock, you'll just know them because there's so many questions that are very similar or if not the same. Finally, I just wanted to say I really recommend investing something into the CGP guides. They honestly just condense a lot of information into one small book and it has helped me throughout the years, especially for all of my sciences. And I definitely recommend getting them for your um, exam, for your GCSE. They Currently, I'm doing IGCSE LXL. They have AQA, they've got LXL, they've got OCR and it is a lifesaver, trust me, because you can just quickly look at something if you don't understand it, and it's all in here, everything for your exam. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and please don't forget to like and subscribe.